Hi viewers, let's discuss another two reactions, displacement reaction and double displacement reaction. In last session, we have already discussed combination reaction and decomposition reaction. In this session, we will discuss two reactions. Display, what is displacement reaction? In this reaction, more reactive element displaces the less reactive element from its compound. This is known as displacement reaction. It is also known as single displacement reactions. Take a look. A plus BC, it will form AC plus B. Here, A is the more reactive element than B. That is why A displaces the B, the lesser element, lesser reactive element, hmm, and form AC. It will form a C and B here displaces here. So, this is known as displacement reaction. Let's, how do we know which element is the most reactive and which is the less reactive? Yes, in chemistry, there is a reactivity series. This is the reactivity series. Here, potassium, the element which is more reactive than sodium and sodium is more reactive than magnesium. Here, the least reactive that is the RM that is gold and most reactive is the potassium here. Similarly, a reactive series of a halogen, the fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. Here, most reactive is fluorine and the least reactive is the iodine here. Take an example. Zinc plus hydrochloric acid, it will form zinc chloride, Zn. Cl2 plus hydrogen gas. In this reaction, zinc can displaces hydrogen and form zinc chloride. So, hydrogen gas is then evolved. Take another example. That is, the more reactive element is here, non-metal. Is the more reactive element is this example, from this example, zinc is the metal and is the more reactive than the hydrogen. Another example is potassium iodide. When react with the non-metal that is chlorine gas which is coming from the reactive series of halogen group. So, it will form potassium chloride KCl plus iodine. So, here chlorine gas is the more reactive than iodine. So, it displaces iodine from its compound. So, that is why it form KCl, potassium chloride, iodine here displaces. So, this is the another example from halogen. Let us now predict the next reaction. When iron nail placed in copper sulphate solution, what will happen? When iron nail placed in copper sulphate solution, what reaction will happen? This is the iron. When placed in copper sulfur, CuSO4, copper sulfur solution, what will happen? Here, iron is the more reactive than copper. So, here, iron displaces the copper from its compound, copper sulfur compound. So, form iron sulfur, FeSO4, plus copper here displaces or puts out from this compound. So, that is why it is here also the color will be changed from this reaction. Copper sulphate is blue in color, but iron sulphate is green in color. Here, the copper which is deposited around the kernel which is reddish brown color. So, in this is the reaction happened due to the, the more reactive element iron is placed in copper sulfate solution. But if we place copper uh, in iron sulfate solution, if you place copper in iron sulfate solution, whether the reaction is taking place or not? Yes, you are correct. The reaction will not happen here because copper is the less reactive than iron. So, reaction will not happen here. So, you cannot displace the iron 
from its compound copper iron sulfate solution. So this is the examples of displacement reaction. Then we will discuss double displacement reaction. What is double displacement reaction? In this reaction, two compounds react with each other and exchange their ions to form new compounds. This is known as double displacement reaction. Take an example. AB is the compound. When you react with CD, another compound to form CB, CB or BC plus AB. CB and which AB. C, B. This is the plus, this is the minus, this is the plus, this is the minus. So here, this is the minus ion, this is the anion, uh, combined with the cation to form CB. And we also, uh, hmm, anions, then combined with B, then the AB will form. So here, the ions are only exchanged in their self. You may be thinking that in this reaction, we have to use reactivity series. No. In this reaction, we should not use the reactivity series. It is only used in a single displacement reaction. So here, we can form its ion, Ag plus ion and NO3 minus ion plus Na plus ion plus Cl minus ion. So here ions will be exchanged their self. Then here the cations or anions can exchange their self. Both cations and anions will not exchange their self. If it will happen, then the original uh, compound in the reactant site will form their self. Again that will form. So either cation or anion they exchange their self. So here the cations, the Ag comes to the chlorine to form HgCl, then this is the cation, it comes to the anion NO3 to form NaNO3. So cation error extends their cell. So Hg cation comes to the Cl minus anion to form HgCl or first we have to write here that is Bc or Cb plus OgAb. Cb means this is the Cb then AB. So NaNO3, Na, NO3, sodium nitrate plus Hg comes to Cl minus that is HgCl. So in this way, uh, two compounds when react with each other uh, to form the and excess their ions to form new compound. This is known as Double displacement reaction. Take another example here. Sodium hydroxide, NaOH, hydroxide, when combined with hydrochloric acid, HCl, to form NaCl, sodium chloride, plus H2O. How it is happened? Here, Na plus ion, then OH minus ion plus S plus ion and Cl minus ion. And then here, Na is the cation, which comes to the anion Cl minus, then S2, S plus is the cation, which comes to the OS minus ion to form, this is the cation, this is the cation to form, to comes to the anion, then Cl minus. Then if this is the cation, S plus, here cation which comes to the anion to form new compound. That means NaCl, NaCl plus H2O will form. This reaction is otherwise known as neutralization reaction because here sodium hydroxide when react with the acid to form salt and water. So because acid here neutralized to form salt. Take another example. Lead nitrate PbNO3 O2 plus potassium iodide, it will form 
that is PB here, that is to 2 PB plus 2 plus ion. This is the, the valence here for PB is 2. So 2 plus ion and NO3 minus ion minus the 2 means minus minus 2 ion, 2 NO3 that means plus K plus and I minus ion. So here the ions will be exchanged themselves. So the PB when comes to the I, the cation when comes to the I to form its 2 Ki here. Uh, that is say PB I 2 plus KNO3, KNO3, potassium nitrate. So here PB I2 by lead iodide uh, is the precipitated form of uh, this reaction. So precipitated, yellow precipitate will form uh, and this reaction is otherwise known as precipitation reaction because here uh, the exchange of iron is taking place here. Uh, so that is why it will form PbI2, PbI2 plus KNO3. According to valency, it will form PbI2 and KNO3, potassium nitrate will form. So PbI2 is the precipitate form of this reaction. Thanks for watching. Next session, we will discuss redox reaction. Thank you.